Mastering Homophones and Homonyms, Strategies to Ace Your Writing. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving into a challenging, but fascinating aspect of the English language. Homophones and homonyms. They might sound intimidating, but we're here to help you master these linguistic elements to polish your advanced writing skills. Before we delve into strategies, let's ensure we're on the same page about what homophones and homonyms are. Homophones are words that sound alike but have different meanings. They can be spelled differently, like write, correct, and write, to compose, or spelled the same, like bear, to carry, and bear, the animal. On the other hand, homonyms are words that have the same spelling and the same pronunciation but different meanings. An example would be bat, which can refer to a nocturnal flying mammal or an object used in sports like cricket or baseball. The main challenge with homophones and homonyms lies in their usage. Due to their identical sounds or spellings, it's easy to use one when you mean the other. These mistakes can cause confusion for your readers and can impact the clarity and professionalism of your writing. Now, let's dive into the strategies to tackle these tricky words effectively. 1. Practice with context. The most effective way to understand and remember the correct usage of homophones and homonyms is by learning them in context. Practice writing sentences or short paragraphs that include these words. 2. Use memory aids. To help distinguish between homophones and homonyms, come up with creative memory aids. For instance, the prince has a princely sum of money, can help you remember the correct usage of prince and prints. 3. Proofread carefully. Because these mistakes are often overlooked by spell checkers, proofreading your writing is crucial. Take extra time to ensure that every word is used correctly. 4. Frequent practice. Practice makes perfect. The more you write, the more likely you are to internalize the correct usage of these words. To help you practice, We'll give you some exercises in the upcoming videos where you can apply these strategies. We'll have sentences with homophones or homonyms to correct, and paragraphs where you'll have to identify and replace incorrect usage of these words. That's a wrap for today, folks. Remember, mastering homophones and homonyms might seem tough, but with the right strategies and consistent practice, you can greatly improve your writing. We hope you found this video helpful and we're excited to see you in the next one where we'll put these strategies to work.